did an ordinary hair become a quill? Let's see how this works. Wow! The quill has a light, spongy inside, and the outside is hard and thick. And it's attached to the skin just like a hair is. You made him raise his quills! I get it! Every porcupine quill has a muscle attached to it that raises the quill when the porcupine gets nervous. If the quill is touched even lightly by, say, a lion, it can easily rip free and gets pulled right out. Thanks, Quilver. Huh? Won't be long now, guys. Porcupine power discs on the way! Good, because we've got some floating animals to rescue. Rocket boots ready to go. Guys! All right, Quilber, my pointy little pal. Give us that porcupine defense power! Activate! All set flying, porcupine bros. Oh, oh. Oh, watch where you're swinging those quills. Oh, sorry, Jimmy. Ah! To, to the, the creature, creature rescue! rescue! Zack, you can't take all these creatures and turn them into your robots. Yeah, and they don't like being in the sky. They want to go home. Oh, no, you don't, wild rats. It's wild rats. Whatever. I'll do whatever I want. And guess what? My Zack bots are recharged. Yo! Uh oh! Gotta get to those creatures fast! I'll cover you. Back off, Zackbots! We porcupines don't like to use our quills, but if we have to. All right, I warned you. Whoa! Lost a few quills in that defense. Chris had better hurry. Hey, Maze, don't worry, you're going home. Thanks to porcupine power. Enjoy the ride, pal. Coming at you guys. Okay, Chris, no problem, we're on it. Uh, ah, gotcha, Maze. <gasps> Why am I craving a big raw steak that's been left out overnight? Uh, yeah, because you're half crat and half tea devil. No, I'm not. Look at me. I'm in control. <laughs> oh, no. Here we go again. Oh, yeah, T-Bone. I smell that, too. <laughs> Rotten carcass somewhere around here. <laughs> Gotta find it. We can smell well from up here. My nose seems super sensitive, too. I feel like I could sniff out a rotting carcass from a kilometer away. T-Bone, smells like it's coming from over there! Only young tea devils can climb trees. Not big Chris devils in totally out of control creature power suits. Relax, Martin. I'm fine. Hmm. I'm thinking the little tea devils climb so they can get higher up to get a better sniff on the carcasses. Over there, let's go! We're getting close to the guy's location. What's up, Koki? Aren't you supposed to be keeping track of the tag tea devils I can't get any work done because rotten meat and carcasses gross me out. I hear you, but as part of the Wild Kratz crew, we're going to meet all types of animals. Live ones and ones that have died of natural causes. Yeah, but animals that eat rotten stuff, yuck! Hey, somebody's got to eat maggoty meat. At least it's the tea devils and not us. <laughs> Nothing left but bones, and the tea devils are still munching. 
Look at all that good stuff inside. Bone marrow. That's nutritious food if you can get to it. Yeah, not every animal has the tooth and jaw strength to bust open the bone and get to the marrow. But tea devils do. Hey, stop breathing on my neck. Ah! Your teeth are huge. And they're growing. <laughs> tea devil teeth never stop growing. Why? That's why. Chewing on hard bones wears them down. They need teeth that keep growing so they can crunch bones. Hmm. The great thing about being a scavenger is you can eat things that other creatures can't. Nothing goes to waste when a tea devil's around. Want a bone, T-Bone? Hey. He was just with me a minute ago. Hmm. I'm not getting any signal on the tea devils. You've lost your tea devil mind, and now T-Bone is lost too. Uh, Martin, you think you're tough, huh? Think you're really ferocious. Well, the lion does. Brother, it's not you, it's a honey badger. Oh, -ho! the honey badger is tough. So tough, a lion will think twice about tangling with him. Wow. That puts the honey badger right up there with the African honeybee on the tough-o-meter. Tie for now. And the honey badger has a fierce sweet tooth, too. He's still following the honey guide. Honey badger and honey guide. Now that is a dynamic duo. Let's program some creature power suits. I'm with you, honey. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, who wants Honey Guide Powers and who wants Honey Badger? Ooh, oh, ooh, honey, honey, badger, badger, honey Badger! Honey Badger! Honey Badger over here! Did you have to ask? Hey, it's my turn for the more powerful creature. Chris, I had Caterpillar Powers last time. Well, a butterfly isn't exactly powerful. I should have the Badger Powers because that lion's mad at me for bumping him. I gotta watch my back. Yeah, but if I had Badger Powers, I could watch your back. Uh, guys, you're not gonna have any powers. Because the animals you have to touch to get the powers are getting away! <gasps> mm -hmm. Uh huh? What? He is following <gasps> Wildcrats! And honey! The little bird did it! Let us right to the honey! And now it's the honey badger's turn to do his thing. Oh, nobody can be that tough. Ooh, he's gonna get so stung. <laughs> Ow, I feel your pain. No animal can survive that many bee stings. He's gonna run. I didn't see that coming. Whoa! <laughs> of course. Honey badgers are members of the weasel family. And they shoot a stinky spray from beneath their tails. Just like his cousin the skunk. Except the honey badger also uses his stinky spray like a living can of bee repellent. <laughs> can it smell be ferocious? <laughs> Don't know. <laughs> but if it can, <laughs> this one is. <laughs> He'll actually attack a swarm of stinging bees and stand up to a lion. The honey badger is the toughest animal in Africa. Hey, who trained this cat? Jimmy, what cat? This one. Coochie, 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 coo. Coochie, 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 coo. <gasps> Jimmy, that's not a cat. It's a skunk. A what? Hmm? Run! Oh, finally, we made it. Painful morning. Tell me about it. And stinky. Woo! Oh, no. That stink! Look out! You ran us right out of our headquarters. That skunk took over the Tortuga. Ooh, how? Ew! Tortuga. Looks like he's denning up in there. To 
told you creatures were making themselves a home around the HQ. But it's our home base. All our stuff is in there. Our inventions, designs, adventure gear, everything. We gotta get it back. <laughs> oh, Jimmy, that's bad. <laughs> and it burns your eyes? And I feel a little sick. We are dealing with a serious creature defense here. A really stinky <laughs> situation. Uh, Jimmy, we really like you, but, well... You've been skunked. <laughs> <laughs> I wish we had tomato soup. Some people say it gets rid of the smell. Really? It's a good thing I keep emergency food in my secret outdoor compartment. How <laughs> come we didn't know about that compartment? It's secret. I'll just be over here taking a bath in my lunch. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we gotta figure out how to take back the Tortuga. Nothing to figure out. Have nose blood? We'll travel. I'll have the Tortuga back to us in no time. Guys, I'm in. Head into the cockpit to turn on the air exchange system and open all the hatches. If I get to the master controls, we've got it made. Ha ha! That was easy. No, 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 wait. I didn't mean to start you. I just stopped. Ah! I was bumped. What happened? There's more than one. Move over, Jimmy. Tomato soup? 